I'm sitting in between Brandy Roderick, Stacey Kamano from Baywatch Hawaii. Uh, this is VH1's Rock Across America. Okay, uh, we have a life coach on this show. Check out Brandy Roderick right now. Dear life coach, what's the best pickup line you ever got? I'm going to spare you the agony. Good pickup lines are far and few. Look, Darren, when in doubt, the best pickup line is the one that's most honest and sincere. So my advice, be yourself. Walk up to the person, look them in the eyes, and just say hello. It's genuine, honest, and a lot easier to remember. I hope you learned something. Until next time, I'm your life coach. Now go live it up. Who was the star of the day? Um, Brandy. Wow. Wow, thank you. Very great honor. What did you do that made you the star in Joan's eyes? I really went after it and just made a lot of phone calls and did everything possible to and make it a success. And she brought in a lot of money, Joan? She brought in a lot of money and she was there. You needed somebody to do something. She was just always there and glad to do it. Who, who's better, do you think, at wrangling, Natalie or Tion? Brandy's doing great as project manager. She's very cool under pressure. But we're going to win. People underestimate Brandy. She's smart and she's ambitious. And that's always a deadly combination when you put it with looks. Hi, I'm Brian Weber. We're excited to be joined by a very special guest, actress, model, now businesswoman extraordinaire, Brandy Roderick is here. Great to meet you. Hi, great to meet you. Dennis sometimes is not a team player, I guess, when he was on the Lakers. But, you know, like someone like Herschel, he was a real, you know, big team player. And I think that that might help him and benefit him. Overall, though, the experience? Yes, other than when I had to clean the toilets, the experience was wonderful. <laughs> it, it was a wonderful experience. I had so much fun. Um, we definitely had a lot of fun, but we were very exhausted, too. We had It was like 18-hour days every day, so it was definitely long ones, but it was a lot of fun. You are a... Uh... An NFL fan. Yes, 49ers. Um, 49ers. Oh. Ever since I was in the womb. It's great. Who would have thought caramel and crab? I mean, it's delicious. It's really good. This is my favorite so far. And I love wrap. I just enjoy Brandy eating. I'd pay a buck to see that in replay. Show me Brandy eating that in slow motion. Would you do that? <laughs> oh. She's good at break dancing. Because she always does this dolphin dive. She's got a dolphin dive you've never where seen. Where it looks like the centipede. The flattery will get you everywhere, I, Sam. I, I, I heard you what you wish for. <laughs> he wanted to hang his leg on the lady <laughs> miss. I missed him. Yeah, look how cool he was. <laughs> What's this financially hung thing about? Well, financially hung is an online networking company, which I actually have. Sam, Sam's financially hung, Brandy. He is. Thank you. There's a t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> You're financially hung. Also. So, you know. What's it about? Teacher. It's an online uh, networking company. It's like MySpace or Facebook, but we are the sexier version, and we throw parties at the Playboy Mansion. Mark, and, you are too. And different things like that. Maybe I can get a ride sometime? Yeah, you can get a ride whenever you want. <laughs> I was jealous because I really wanted your outfit. And I loved your outfit. You did? Yes, I we loved your outfit. We saw such outfit. girls right now. I, I loved your outfit. But then you still got to do it. Do, do it. it. Right, do, do it. it. Come on, seriously. Do it. Do it. Do it. Wonderful. That was a wonderful. <laughs> I love the kerchief around your neck. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> take it off. <laughs> do it. And just for the record, I didn't take it off. So actually, Albert said I can come down and join the team right away. Yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> yeah. You think he might have been kidding? Our first question comes via email. Dear Life Coach, while my family was out driving the other day, I swore at my dad. My father kicked me out of the car and told me to walk home, and it took me all afternoon to get home. Now he won't talk to me, and the rest of the family is mad at me, too. What should I do? Well, Charlie, you have two choices. You could either apologize to your father, or you could just get a bike. I hope you learned something. I'm your life coach. Now go live it up. Oh, I forgot!